Have you ever wondered how deception might play a significant role in the end times? Deception is a concept as old as humanity itself, woven into the fabric of our history and crucially highlighted in numerous religious texts. It's a tool wielded by the cunning to manipulate the unsuspecting, a powerful weapon that can bend perceptions to the will of the deceiver. Now, imagine a master of this craft. In religious contexts, particularly in the Christian faith, a figure emerges from the shadows of prophecy, the Antichrist. This character is no ordinary deceiver. He is portrayed as the ultimate embodiment of duplicity, a master manipulator who will use deception as a weapon to lead countless astray in the end times. This raises a critical question, one that we must all grapple with as we seek to understand the world around us. But what does this deception look like and how can it be identified? The Antichrist deception is not a simple trick. It's a complex web of lies and misdirection. Imagine a master illusionist, one who weaves a compelling reality that is in fact a mirage. That's the Antichrist deception for you. It's not a jarring, immediate alteration of truth, but a gradual, almost imperceptible shift from the path of righteousness. The first step in this grand charade is gaining trust. Like a cunning fox, the Antichrist doesn't barge in with a grand proclamation. Instead, he creeps in silently, blending in with the flock. He gains trust by appearing to speak truth, by offering solutions, by seeming to care. Once the trust is established, the manipulation begins. Slowly but surely, the Antichrist begins to twist beliefs and values. It's like a potter molding clay. He doesn't drastically reshape the clay all at once. He gently nudges it bit by bit until it takes on a form far removed from its original shape. And this manipulation isn't always obvious. It's often cloaked in logic, reason, and appealing arguments. The Antichrist is a master of rhetoric, using words to seduce, confuse, and lead astray. The final stage of the deception is leading astray from the path of righteousness. Having gained trust and manipulated beliefs, the Antichrist now guides his followers down a path of darkness, masquerading it as the path of light. And here's the scary part. Many of those led astray may not even realize they're off course. They may believe they're still on the path of righteousness because that's how subtle, how insidious this deception is. It doesn't feel like deception. It feels like truth. The subtlety of this deception is what makes it most dangerous. The Antichrist's deception isn't a sledgehammer smashing into a wall. It's a termite silently eating away at the foundations until the whole structure collapses. And by the time you realize what's happening, it might be too late. Understanding the methods of the Antichrist's deception is key to discerning truth from lies. Now let's delve into the various methods employed by the Antichrist to deceive. Now one might say it's an intricate dance of cunning and guile designed to ensnare even the most discerning amongst us. Imagine this for a moment. The world is in chaos, hope is dwindling, and suddenly a charismatic leader emerges, performing miracles and wonders that defy logic and science. These are no ordinary marvels, but extraordinary feats that seem to affirm divine intervention. This is one of the Antichrist's most potent tools of deception, false miracles. They are designed to bewilder and captivate, to make us question our own understanding of reality. Next, we have the promise of peace and prosperity. The world is in turmoil, and along comes a leader offering a solution to all our problems, a utopia, a paradise on earth. It's an alluring vision, isn't it? But it's nothing more than a mirage, a false promise meant to entice and entrap. Lastly, the twisting of religious texts to fit his narrative is another deceptive tactic. The Antichrist will use the sacred words of religion, distorting their original meaning to suit his purposes. He will take the familiar and warp it into something unrecognizable, causing confusion and leading many astray. So you see, the Antichrist's deception is multifaceted and complex. It's a masterful blend of showmanship, false promises, and manipulation of sacred texts. It's designed to confuse, to mislead, and to create doubt. But here's the silver lining. These methods, as cunning as they are, are not unbeatable. With knowledge, discernment, and a strong foundation in truth, we can see through these illusions and stand firm in our faith. The Antichrist's methods are cunning, but not unbeatable. How then can we discern the truth amid such cunning deception? 
This question serves as our guidepost as we delve into strategies for discerning truth from falsehood. First and foremost, a robust understanding of religious texts is critical. These sacred books are not merely historical records or collections of moral teachings, they are the compass that directs our spiritual journey. This knowledge acts as a shield, protecting us from the onslaught of deceptive narratives. However, it's not enough to merely read these texts. We must engage with them, question them, wrestle with their teachings, and seek to understand their deeper meanings. This is where the importance of prayer and guidance comes in. Prayer is our direct line to the divine. It offers clarity, peace and wisdom, often illuminating the path that seems shrouded in darkness. Regular prayer can make us more attuned to the divine will, helping us to recognize when something deviates from it. Guidance, on the other hand, can come in many forms. It could be a religious leader, a mentor, or even a community of like-minded individuals. These guides can provide perspective, challenge our assumptions, and help us navigate complex theological questions. However, even with a strong foundation in religious texts and a commitment to prayer and guidance, we must not let our guard down. We need to be vigilant, always on the lookout for deception. This means critically evaluating the information we receive, questioning its source, its intent, and its alignment with our understanding of truth. Finally, we must remember that discernment is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. It requires patience, humility, and a willingness to admit when we've been deceived. So, let's take these strategies to heart. Let's immerse ourselves in our sacred texts, commit to regular prayer, seek guidance and stay vigilant, but most importantly, let's never cease in our pursuit of truth. Armed with knowledge and faith, the Antichrist's deception can be recognized and resisted. The Antichrist's deception is a significant aspect of end times prophecy. We've uncovered layers of intrigue, unraveling the complexities of this grand deception. The Antichrist's methods are cunning, employing a web of lies and manipulation to steer the unsuspecting off course. Yet, we must remember the power of discernment is our greatest weapon. We've laid out strategies for discernment, tools that can shield us from the deception. It's about staying vigilant, being watchful of the signs, and continuously seeking truth. It's about not succumbing to the allure of false promises, but instead holding steadfast in our beliefs. Knowledge is our armor, understanding our shield. The more we comprehend, the less likely we are to fall prey to the Antichrist's deception. Remember that deception is not invincible. It's designed to exploit our weaknesses, but we can fortify these vulnerabilities. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and most importantly, stay strong in your faith. The deception is powerful, but so is the truth.